What's up, Deep Sea Divers? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Subnautica Let's Play. This is episode 6, and today we are going to make the upgrade upgrade station, the mobile vehicle bay, the upgrade fins, and the sea moth. It's going to be a busy day. It's going to be a busy day. I've been out um, collecting resources. I've gotten quite a bit of silver, which is what I really needed. And I also got a lot of quartz. So we're going to come back to our base here. I don't quite think we're going to have enough... To make all the items we want to make, but we should be pretty close. And um, you know, depending on how long the video is taking, I might, I might make some of these next video. But um, I think we should be able to get all these done today. All right, so here we are back at the base. Good old base. It's a nice little base. I like it. We're gonna have to start thinking of once we get the sea moth. We're gonna start looking for a new place to find our base. All right, so we got a battery in here that's a hundred percent. We gotta switch some stuff out. Let's go ahead and see what we need for the modification station. We need a wiring kit and a computer chip. Wiring kit and computer chip. So, wiring kit and computer chip. Well, there's the wiring kit. Could not have been easier. Computer chip ain't going to be that easy, though. Uh, computer chip, we're going to need the table coral sample. I don't know if we have any in here. I don't think we do. Let's just take a look really quick. Table coral sample, table coral sample. Nope, nope. Get this off my screen. There we go. Nope, that's common coral sample. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys where to get the table coral sample. I know um I know I've showed you before, but you know, not everyone watches every video, so it might still make sense to show some people. Uh, alright, those are still all charging. Alright, follow me. Follow me to victory. Alright, so what we're looking for is these like little like um I don't even know how to describe what they are. They're, they hang off the side of some of these, uh, some of these little hills right here. I see some right now, and they look like um, I don't know. They look just kind of like weird, and this is what we're looking for. All right, one, two. Can we handle two more? Can we eat? Yeah, let's eat. And we can get one more. All right, so that's two sets. That's good. All right. So that's what we need for the computer chip. I think we need two per computer chip. Probably should. I can't wait to get these fins because honestly, I'm done with the sea glide. I really am. As a matter of fact, is there anything in there? Unload battery. Well, we can't unload the battery just yet. So that's irrelevant. We will though. All right. So let's come on in here and make the computer chip. There we go. What was the other thing we needed? I think that's it. Five modification station. Let's do it. Put it right here. Are we gonna need? We're gonna need more um storage in here, probably. So let's put this out of the way. Just so we have it out of the way. So if we need to put more storage containers, we can. Now the modif modification station is really cool. This is gonna let allow you to um to do all kinds of little neat things. So we can upgrade the survival knife to a hardened blade, which doubles uh. Which gives it a diamond hard blade, or you can make a thermal blade, which uh, heats the blade. Now I don't know if the I don't know if the thermal blade does more damage. Um, I don't think it does though. I think what it does is it cooks the fish when you kill them, but I, I don't know for sure. The other thing we could do is we can make better air tanks. Um, you can make extra air capacity or a lighter air tank. I'm not sure what a lighter air tank does. Maybe it's a smaller air tank because air tanks don't have um, weight. So, then there's fins. You can make the ultra glide fins, which increases swim speed, which is what we will do. And we can make the swim charge fins, which will charge whatever you're holding in your hand. And then we can turn the propulsion cannon into a repulsion cannon. I don't know anything about the repulsion cannon. Um, I'll look into that for future videos. All right, so we're gonna need the fins. So we want the ultra glide fins. So we're gonna need silicon rubber. In order to do the silicon rubber, we're gonna need this stuff. Let's go ahead and put some stuff away really quickly. Um, copper, put away the silver, put away the gold. Let's go ahead and put away the quartz as well. Oh god, we actually got a good amount of quartz in here. That's good to know. That is good to know. Alright, let's take these out and make the silicon rubber. I think this is what you make the silicon rubber with. Now that I think about it, I'm not, I'm not positive. Silicon rubber? Yes. Okay, good. I'm gonna need two of these. Right, silicon rubber. There we go. It, it really pays to have these creepvine cluster seeds growing in our base. 
by the way. Alright, fins. We need the fins as well. Do we have to take these off to do this? I don't remember. Yeah, we do. Okay, Ultra Glide fins. Sweet! Ultra Glide fins increases swim speed. Sea Glide, you are no more. Man, look at all that. Look at all that space I just saved. We should also uh, fix up these O2 tanks, but we'll do that later because I really want to get the um, I really want to get the vehicle bay made. All right, let's see what we need for the vehicle bay. Um, titanium ingot, lubricant, and power cell. Okay. All right, titanium ingot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten titanium. So that's easy enough. Um, a power cell. What do we need for the power cell? I don't remember. I think we need a battery for it. Power cell. Yeah. Oh, two batteries and silicon rubber. Okay. Two batteries and silicon rubber. All right. Fair enough. Two batteries. Actually, do I have two batteries lying around? There's one. Only one battery, huh? Okay, we'll take one of these. We're not going to need as many batteries now because we're not using the uh, Sea Glide. Alright, what else am I missing? The silicon rubber. Okay. Silicon rubber. Did it say two? I don't remember. It did not. Power cell. Power cells are also the... the uh, this is the power that the Sea Moth and the Cyclops run off of. The Sea Moth is a one-man um, submarine. This The Cyclops is a huge mobile base. Okay. Uh, lubricant. Okay, what was the lubricant? I don't remember. I'm bl I believe that was uh, yeah, creep find clusters as well. See, you need these creep find clusters, guys. You need a lot of them. It's definitely one of the first things you want to start growing in your base. One, two, three. Let's grab some more if we can. All right, good. We'll just put the rest in there. That way more can grow back. Yeah, Crefine Clusters. I'm so glad uh, you guys told me that I could um, grow those in my base. It's been amazing. Okay. All right, lubricant. Coming right up. Okay. And Mobile Vehicle Bay. This is actually going a lot faster than I thought it was going to. That's very good. Alright, so what we do with the mobile vehicle bay is we come on out here. And you go to somewhere where it's it's deep. You don't want to put the mobile vehicle bay somewhere where when you make your cyclops it's going to crash because it can. Uh, there we go. And pick it up. It's not doing anything. Pick it up. Pick it up. Maybe I, Maybe I can't drop it like that. Yeah, I have to have it in my hands and actually deploy it. Okay. And there you go. There's the mobile vehicle bay. Now you're looking for the climb up button. And those are the little things that make your uh, whatever you're going to make. And we can now make the sea moth. So we're going to need titanium ingot. Oh my god, that's not that hard at all. A power cell, two glass. Man, those creep vine clusters are key, guys. Those creep vine clusters are key. You know what I keep forgetting to do? Grab my health kits. I'm gonna start remembering that. Okay. Whew. All right. Well, let's go get some more. Oh, we we have creep vine clusters, don't we? Well, never mind. We actually needed those. All right. So we're gonna need the. Let's go ahead and make the power cell, silicon rubber battery, silicon rubber. And grab one of the other batteries. Do I have any other batteries like lying around? I don't think I do. Is there a battery in this? No battery. This has a battery in it. Right? Yes, it does. Okay. I thought we were missing a battery. Alright, so we're still going to need another battery. I think that's it for batteries. So let's grab one of you guys. Alright. Power cell. Beautiful. What was the other stuff? I know titanium ingot. Four, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Can't get too close to this thing. Alright, titanium. 
Titanium. Titanium make it. What was the last thing? I don't remember. Well, we can look at it from down here. Uh, blueprints. Cyclops. Engine. Seamoth. Ooh. Mm -mm, terraformer. Okay. Um, I'm looking for a Seamoth. There we go. Glass. Two glass and lubricant. I thought we needed lubricant. Uh, we need more creepvine clusters. See what I'm saying, guys? Creepvine clusters for days! And the thing that makes the creepvine clusters really annoying is they take up so much room in your inventory. You know? They take up so much room, so if you have to go out and get them out, like, outside, it's even worse, man. Man. Like, creepvine clusters. Guys, do yourself a favor. Get those growing as soon as you get a base up. Like, for real. Alright. Lubricant. And... Glass. We got two glass. Jesus. We finished this. We finished this in no time. I did not think this was going to take this long. Or be this quick. Um, you know what? Let's make the uh, Seamoth during the day. I don't want to make it at night. Alright. Well, there's other things I want to do. So let's go ahead and expand our air tanks um, to extra high capacity. Um, so we're going to need more titanium. We're running out of titanium here, huh? I'm getting there. We still have some. The uh, um, the big the big submarine, the uh, Cyclops, is going to take up a lot of titanium. It takes up like five ingots, which is fifty titanium. It's not that much, but it's, it's you know it's getting up there. All right, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, wrong thing. So that's lithium. So what does extra light tank do? I almost want to make one just to see what it does. You know, let's make one of those just to see. What, I'm just curious. It's not going to cost us that much. Lithium is not that hard to get. Alright. Extra light tank. I'm assuming it's going to be a smaller tank. No. It's not a small. What the hell does that do for you? Because this one is the good one. High capacity, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Now, should I have two of these on me? Yeah, I probably should. First of all, we're gonna we're gonna throw the plasteel tank in here because it's freaking useless, useless piece of garbage. Um, and then we're gonna make another tank. Yeah, we'll just make another tank. We're gonna need some more glass. All right, so let's go ahead and make some more glass. Big crafting episode, guys. Um. I don't normally like to do these big crafting episodes, but the thing is, I have everything I need. I don't have to go farming. Um, I think there's some serious uh, lessons you guys can learn by watching me do this. Uh, not one of least is the fact that you want creep find clusters in your base. You know, so I hope this is entertaining for you. I won't do too many of these, though. Alright, so we're going to need just regular... Uh, that would be personal equipment. Ooh, we're running out of power, you see that? That's not good. Air tank. We need more titanium. Wow. We're almost out of titanium, people. And we are almost we are out of power. Crap. Warning. Emergency power over. Well, there you go. And now we will start losing oxygen. So you know what we need in here, right? We need a... Uh, my photo album, I took pictures. Um, you know what we need in here? We need a, um, a bioreactor. We need a bioreactor. A lot of people... A lot of people I've been... I've, like, read comments, don't like the bioreactor. They think it's a waste of time. I... I respectfully disagree. I kind of like the bioreactor. Alright, so... Let's do this. Let's, um... Well, we don't have enough titanium. Honestly, we can't do the bioreactor. We simply don't have enough titanium. Now, let's take this time to make the Seamoth. Looks like it's almost daytime, so that's good. Alright, power is restored. Good. Get some power back. I'm gonna need it. Alright. Climb. Seamoth! For days! Yeah. Yeah. 
Now this thing's the shit, guys. Welcome Look at this thing. Captain. Now we are fast. We're mobile. This opens up so much for us now. I love this thing. It opens up the whole world for us. I can take this out somewhere. What I can do is... Here, let's just... Well, my inventory's full. So, well, it's not full now. Let's see how much inventory space I have. It's a little bit. Alright, so what you can do is... You can go really, really deep. This thing can only go 200 meters, so be careful with that. But you can go really deep with this thing. Alright, like, let's say I come over here and I'm like... And I'm all like... Oh, man, it's so deep, or whatever. And I'm looking for something. Let me see if I can find some... What is that? Uh, it's just plant life. Yeah, like let's see, I let's let's say I find a crash, and I'm like, oh, a crash. Hmm. And I'm looking around, and you, you know, guys, I'm breathing right now. I'm not suffocating. It's ooh, that might be something. Is that part of the sea moth? That's part of the sea moth. I'll bet. Gotta watch out for these guys. They will attack the sea moth. Um, we're gonna have to start. We're gonna have to build and start carrying around a welder with us to repair the sea moth. Whoops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, let's say you get out of the sea moth and you're like, oh, now I'm going to come in here. Now, look at how much more oxygen I have. I feel really slow considering I have ultra glide fins. Oh, well. All right. So we come on in here. We're like, oh, man, we're looking around and stuff and whatever. And then you could just go outside, get in the sea moth, get all your oxygen back, and you're good to go. Well, let's, let's do some exploring, actually. The hell with it. We're here. Oh, this goes right outside. Okay. I... Did I ever make the rebreather? No. Oh, you know what? We don't want to take off the radiation helmet until we've, uh... We've dealt with the, um... The Aurora. Don't forget, the Aurora is, is uh... Let's kill this guy. Why is he attacking me? I don't know, that was weird. Anyway, um, don't forget the Aurora is uh, making radiation. Um, so, we can't just uh, we can't just take off the radiation helmet because um, it's protecting us. So, what we want to do is we want to go to the... Um, oh, we should dig this out. Yeah. We got to come back here. Uh, let's put this on number five. Get a plant pot. Anyway, um, what, what we're going to do is... I think maybe we'll do it next episode, actually. Possibly. I'm thinking next episode, guys, we're going to go fix the Aurora. Because once you fix the Aurora, after a couple days... Um, after a couple days, the radiation goes... I didn't even see this. Battery charge. I don't really need it. Anyway, after a couple days, after fixing the Aurora, the uh, radiation goes away. And then you can uh, replace your radiation helmet with a... Um, you can replace your radiation helmet with a, uh, um, a rebreather, and then you can dive down deeper without losing so much oxygen. All right, let's get back to the base. Uh, we were doing something. What the hell were we doing in the base? Oh, yeah, we were doing the tanks. We were upgrading the tanks. Hmm, should we upgrade it and carry it around with us? So we have a regular row 2 tank, an upgraded tank. Oh, we only have one upgraded tank, though. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. I made a tank for no reason. We're going to come in here. We're going to do this. We're going to take this one off us. And then we're going to go high capacity tank. It should go right back on us. And there we go. Two tanks. One on our body. One in our inventory. 165 oxygen. I am cool with that. That is awesome. Should we upgrade this survival knife? Why not? We got diamond. We got diamond for days. That's not... Diamond, that's magnetite. It's diamond. Oh, yeah, that. Okay. Alright. Hardened blade. So now our blade's gonna be stronger. And... Should we do the repulsion cannon? Computer chip? Sure. Why not? Might as well while we're here. Now, I don't know how to use the repulsion cannon. I'm gonna do some research into it. I'm not gonna use it today, but... Uh, we'll make it anyway. Why not? It's gotta be an upgrade. It's an upgrade, right? It's not like it's... Not better. Uh, would I need a computer chip or something? I don't remember. I probably should have remembered that. Yeah, computer chip. Computer. We need silver ore. I did get a lot of silver ore because I knew I knew I need a lot of it. And I'm probably going to need even more. Okay. You come with me. 
Repulsion cannon. Um, applies force to objects. You know what? To hell with it. Let's go see what it does. We really need to make a welder before we start taking this thing out, by the way. I'll probably make a welder um, first thing next video. Alright, here we go. Whoa. Wow, damn. That's like some hardcore repulsion right there. Repulsion or... Yeah, repulsion. <laughs> I get those confused. Wow, um, I wonder how this works on sand sharks. This might be worth bringing with us. I wonder how it works on wrecks. Where's that wreck? There's a wreck near me. I don't remember where it is, though. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, we've got a few minutes left on this video. Let's see what we can do with this thing. Okay. I wonder what it does to the fart guy. <laughs> it moved him. Yeah, I kind of like this thing. <laughs> A wreck around here. I thought there was. There we go. Let's get his attention, and when he runs at us, we'll repulse him. Okay. Wow, it works, and he runs away. That's even more important. Not only does it repulse him, but he runs away. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. I think I'm going to take this thing with me. But what is this? Well, what do we have here? Anything interesting here? Oh, look at that. Oh, jeez, I think I broke it with me in it. Wow. Wow, when, it, when, I re when I hit something that can't move, it pushes me back. This thing's cool. Although, I don't think there's any fragments around here. Whoa, what's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is he? Get out of here. Oh, you know what? We still need the uh, we still need the propulsion cannon because it's it, we were we were going to use it to grab um remember those um those jellyfish that hang from the ceilings and poison you and kill you in like a second? We're going to need it for that. So we are going to need to make another one of these. Not one of these, but the unupgraded version. I don't think there's anything here. I'm probably missing stuff, which is probably infuriating to you guys. Let's try out our new diamond blade on this son of a bitch. Yeah, taste my justice! Oh, he don't like that. Oh, you don't like that. That's right. Get the hell out of here. Okay, let's try and pay attention now. Shut up, timer. Okay, nothing there. Uh, nothing over here. Oh! That might be the... The salvage. Yeah, it was the salvage. I thought I saw something over here that looked interesting. Oh, look at this truck! Look at that, it's a forklift! Oh, that's hilarious. Freaking forklift. Inventory's full. Alright. I don't think there's anything here. I'm hoping I'm not missing anything. Doesn't look like it. Alright, guys. We are going to call this one here. That is going to be it for Episode 6. And we will see you next time for Episode 7. Till then, take it easy.